The match didn't start off well for the Kipax Knights when they were penalised right at the kickoff. And things got worse when they crossed the try line, only for the final move to be adjudged a forward pass. Ten minutes in and number 11 Chad Grant broke through but his pass didn't go to hand. Simon Perry hacked through and followed up for the first try of the game. A successful conversion made the score 6-0 to the Bears. Bears kept up the pressure right from the restart with his powerful run by Tanaka Chanamakara. The Bears made full use of their good field position and Tanaka went in at the corner to extend the home team's lead to 10 points. <laughs> Kipax Knights opened their scoring when their number 9 powered his way over from short range. The extra two points made the score Bears 10 Kipax Knights 6. 25 minutes in and the referee blew up for foul play by Kipax Knights David Jesse. A carelessly swinging arm at head height against Bears scrum half Scott Clendenning Fenton resulted in the number 15 being shown the red card. A driving run by Bears number 12 and well timed handling out wide Rob Nichols was over to make the score Bears 14 Kipax Knights 6. The Knights number one went over to bring the score back to Bears 14, Kipax Knights 10, this being the score at half time. Less than five minutes into the second half and the Bears extended their lead with a try scored by Aaron Higgins. Bears 18, Kipax 10. Just a couple of minutes later and Scott Clendenning Fenton broke clear and sent Cy Perry in for his 12th try of the campaign. The extra points took the score to 24-10. Bears number six managed to offload the ball to Scott Clendenning Fenton who threw the ball out wide for Aaron Higgins to go over for his second try of the afternoon. Bears 28, Kipax Knights 10. The home team extended their lead to 34 points to 10 when Chad Grant collected the restart kick and ran straight through for another try along with a successful conversion. The 12-man Kipax Knights team continued to battle all the way and were rewarded with a try by number 9 that was successfully converted to bring the score back to 34-16. Kipax Knights may have been hoping for a dramatic comeback when they scored another try and conversion to bring the score back to 34-22. With the Bears looking a little shaky, standoff Tom Sang steadied the ship by jinking his way through the middle to score under the posts. The successful conversion made the score 40 points to 22. Aaron Higgins completed his hat-trick of tries for the afternoon when he sprinted the entire length of the pitch to make the score bears 44, Kipax Knights 22. Bears prop, Ridian Booth, forced his way over the line to bring the score to 48-22. Kipax Knights completed the scoring with a consolation try, the final score being Coventry Bears 48, Kipax Knights 26. Really pleased with the game, really pleased with the performance. Um, I thought we were just, you know, we were too powerful for them, too too quick, too powerful for them, around the middle. Um, you know, we've worked pretty hard this week in training, and I'm just really proud that they've, we've come through. We started this little home run now that we've got, you know, on a, on a real positive note. So I'm just, we just want to build on that now, and uh, you know, keep it going now over the next couple of weeks. Um, we know every game is a challenge at this level, uh, you know, so we're, we're, we're going to take a lot from that today. 
Uh, we've just got to cut out the individual errors a little bit, um, but it's nothing that we can't uh, rectify in a, a short space of time. Yeah, big grin on my face today. That's a, that's a good win. We needed a win today, first home game. I'm pleased with the effort, everybody. That's that's great. Gr good news today. And it's nice playing at the Butts Park. It's great to be back at the Butts. Uh, we played here back in 2004, 2005. It's a big pitch, though, isn't it? It's a big pitch. But that will suit us. We've, we've got some speedy wingers, and that, that'll be good for us. And the ladies, uh, match, uh, the ladies, ladies had a good win. Oh, what a great day, eh? What a great day for the Bears. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fabulous. So, uh, back was it? Home next week? We're back at home. Got Bramley here next week. Uh, Two thirty kick off. Uh, Bramley uh, traditionally been one of the better teams in the league. Uh, I think they might be struggling a little bit this year, but nevertheless, and it is the old Bramley club from the old Bramley Rugby League days, the professional club. So it, it is them. We'll finish off with a quick look at the league table. Coventry Bears have moved up a place and are now lying fourth just one point behind the second and third clubs.